All right, so we obviously we have some very, very exciting news about these guys, but as you can see, Oliver is hungry and it is feeding time. So there we are. Callie's eating some trout right now. They're being busy eating their food. And for the first thing that you see they went for was the trout. And I like to give them that trout right there because the trout is filled with bone and has all the calcium and everything in it. And this is pretty much what we like to feed them. What is going on everybody welcome back to another video here at blake's exotic animal ranch today you guys what we have in store as you guys see from the title and thumbnail we have some exciting news to show you guys with oliver and callie but before we do that what we do every single day here on the ranch around lunchtime we prep their food and this is the time that they're really really hungry so inside of their bowl already we have a little bit of kibble we have some carrots sometimes it's carrots sometimes it's green beans sometimes it's blueberries we mix it all up every day and then right here we have a couple of chunks of tilapia cut up then right here, we have a couple chunks of rainbow trout that they get. They're both needing to eat about a pound each twice a day. So that's pretty much what we feed them every single day. And then right here, we have a little bit of catfish fillets too. So we're gonna get this right quick, open that up. Got my scissors right here. I normally don't do it outside. I normally do it inside the house in the prep room, but we're doing it right here because um, it's better lighting, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna give them a couple little pieces like this. And then inside the sink, actually, you guys, we have some chicks in there and some frog legs. So we're gonna throw that in there as well. So they get a big variety of their diet every single day, all different types of stuff. So we're gonna let that sit for a couple seconds and we're gonna grab the chicks and the frog legs and throw them in there as well and then head to their enclosure. We got a frog leg thigh, we got a chick, we got a chick head, and then we got a leg of a frog. So this is a nice meal that they get pretty much twice a day, every single day. They get fresh cut, defaulted, Food for them right here and i like to give them that trout right there because the trout is filled with bone and has all the calcium and everything in it and this is pretty much what we like to feed them so let's head over there all right so we obviously we have some very very exciting news about these guys but as you can see oliver is hungry and it is feeding time so we have to head over there right now and go feed them everything looks absolutely amazing we have our little shade cloth over here that helps protect our viewing panel that we have here from aquascape it's doing absolutely amazing this whole pond was made by aquascape greg Ed, the pond professor and 180 people came here if you guys didn't see that video yet, go check out that video it's an absolutely epic three-day event with a ton of people here that put this beautiful otter enclosure together the whole pond part we went out to alabama to get the rocks i mean it was an insane project and it's probably one of the best otter enclosures that i've ever seen in the private sector and as you saw it's getting a little louder when we come over here because we have the massive waterfall that you don't see on the other side it's just such a cool, cool, cool feature for our small cloud Asian otters here in the ranch. And I know a lot of people say that they would love to have otters and otters are amazing animals and which they are, but otters are not the best pets. As you guys can see, it's a lot of money just to make an enclosure this way. A pond with, could easily be over a hundred thousand dollars. The structure of it to make it bad to the bone so that it's big and huge for the otters to live the best life. And then on top of that, you come over here and we have their massive lockout section. AC inside of here to come inside. Obviously, I like to make things a little bit more crazier. And you can see the otters came inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, you see that right there? Girl otters are the top of the, the family. You know what I mean? They're the, the how's that, what's that word? Um, boss. They're pretty much, yeah. They're the boss of the family. So they'll put all of them in place. So before they kill each other, let's go feed them real quick. And we'll talk more. So follow me. Double doors, actually triple doors. Here we go. Close that door and then we go in. So what's gonna happen right now, they're really hungry. So open it up and let them grab a plate. Callie will latch onto you if you don't pay attention. So come out over here. Here you go, Oliver. Why is he coming after me? Go eat your food. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So there we are. Callie's eating some trout right now. They're being busy eating their food. And for the first thing that you see they went for was the trout. Oliver is still a good boy with me. He'll let me hold him to the point of as much as he wants me to. So the thing about these otters, like we were mentioning earlier, you guys, otters are amazing when they're the first year old. Once they pass that year old stage, they become mature, they wanna breed, and they come territorial, and they're not really the best, best pets. So you always wanna make sure 
you always do your research before you want to get some cool exotic little animal because at the end of the day the animal is always going to grow up and the animal is going to switch up i guaranteed i've never seen an animal not switch up when they become mature maybe you can neuter otter i'm not too sure but oliver is a good boy if i try to touch him right now he'll turn into a pit bull and it won't be pretty he has four giant uh, canines top and bottom and they have that jaw pressure that's very very strong and I know people are probably gonna say something stupid about pit bulls I have like 15 pit bulls pit bulls are absolutely amazing but at the end of the day you got to give everything their space and give everything their time sometimes you know animals are gonna be nice and some days animals are gonna be mean it's just like anything your brother and sister you go into the room they're like get the heck out it's the same exact thing and some days are just you know they're not gonna be happy animals but we're gonna walk over there real quick and we're gonna show you their pond you guys haven't seen that before they always grab their toys every single day and throw them in the waterfall and throw them everywhere we have this big water feature right here it's a big rock that throws water over this giant 4500 pound rock it's like a little water slide water is crystal clear all the time check it out we got to cut back the weeds in here we always cut back the weeds uh every couple weeks but we've been waiting for the rain to slow down the rain's about to slow down right now once that rain stops the weeds will stop and then we can make it nice and pretty for a while this is oliver right here let me see if i can touch him watch what happens it's okay, it's okay, Oliver. It's okay, Oliver. Now, if I did that to Cali, Cali's a different ball game over there. But the exciting news that I want to show you guys is that today I'll throw it back right now. That is crazy, you guys. That is absolutely insane. The otters are breeding. Yeah. He's completely locked on her right now. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it's not the best footage because it's the first time I've ever seen it. And I am very, very happy about it because a year ago, one week ago, if that makes any sense, we actually got Callie October 1st. And that was a year ago. She was about six months old. So now she's about a year and a half, almost two years old. Yeah, she's about almost two years old now. And the age of breeding and we've been seeing a lot of signs all of them's acting weird Callie's been acting weird I've talked to other people that breed otters and all this stuff and today was the day that we got our first breeding you guys we got a first breeding of Oliver and Callie in the water doing their thing completely locked in just like dogs and fingers crossed around Christmas time we're gonna have some baby small cloud otters here on the ranch and this is gonna be absolutely amazing to have our first production of small cloud otters here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranchers is gonna be such a cool thing to experience the whole entire process of raising otters again. This time, we're not gonna have to pull the babies early. We're gonna just have the babies be with the mother for the first month until their eyes open up and then we'll start bodily raising them. So it'd be real, real nice for the first couple years or if really the first year because I don't wanna be a hypocrite of my words and say that it's only a couple years. It's really just the first year. Uh, maybe if you keep them by themselves, maybe they'll be a little bit nicer because then they won't get the hormones of the other ones being around. But obviously, Callie's hormones are in the air. Oliver smells them, and that makes uh, Oliver go crazy, and he wants to breathe. This is Callie right here. She's such a cool little, little otter. She has calmed down a lot since she isn't too crazy. I can maybe touch her tail, but as you can see, she doesn't like to be touched. She just wasn't mother raised, and not being mother raised just makes her be a little bit more wilder. But you can see, no, they'll be right was, next to us. She was mother raised. She was mother raised. Sorry, I messed human up my race. Word. She wasn't human race. That's the word I wanted to do. So Oliver was. So Oliver, I can pretty much do anything I want with him. See? He's a big, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Hey, Oliver. Hey, Oliver. He loves his artificial grass. He's always sensing all around him. And the one good thing about them is that I was able to train Oliver when he was a little baby to be potty trained. And the best thing about that, he's just marking his territory everywhere right now because we just walked on him is that they poop and pee on their slab that they have by the building. So it makes the whole enclosure smell great because he doesn't poop and pee around here. He only does it over there. So it's easy to clean, easy to keep it nice and clean and a lot more sanitary than uh, some otters will just poop all the way over here and then it's a pain in the butt. But um, that's definitely a good thing. So Callie likes to latch on to everybody's feet. But what we're gonna do is walk back over here because the bowl's over here. But they like to do their thing. As you can see, they have a lockout over there to go through and do whatever they want to do. Look, 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 look. Oliver, that's my hose. You're gonna strangle yourself. We keep this here oh to try God. to get him out of here. Come on, 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 come on. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hey, no, let go of the shoes. No. 
No, right. I just bought these. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So obviously, as you guys can see, I'm not pushing them. I'm just trying to like scare them off. And um, it's really not working. I want my shoe back. <laughs> yep, there, there they go. Now they go crazy. This is this is otter time right here. Go ahead, grab your shoe. Go. Oliver, what are you doing, buddy? We're good. We got him out. All right, so we got him out. That's our lockout right there. Oliver likes to hang on to this thing right here and be crazy otter time all the time. What we could do right now is we could go inside and I can show you the prep room. Okay, so we have the freezer here. We have a refrigerator here. We have our sink here. We have a prep area here. And then because I'm spoiled and I like to watch YouTube videos when I'm prepping my food and everything and watching all my friends that do YouTube and all that stuff, we have our stand and we have our TV here. So that's gonna go right here for our prep. We have our, you know, our little plug right there and all that stuff. And uh, everything is going very, very well for our preparation room. This building right here is a metal building. It is made to be hurricane proof, actually up to a category five. Will it be? Not too sure. They say it is, that's what they say in the books before we insulate it. But I spent tons of money on insulation here. The spray inf insulation, if you guys know about it, it's one of the best. And on top of it, the paint that's on here is considered to be fire protection. So let's say a fire started inside of here, it won't burn through the walls, even though because it's metal, you put a light rotor, it won't burn either. So I wanted to make sure everything is to the best of the best. Inside of here, they're not over there right now. I'm over here. We have the little, quick little uh, ferret house right here, you could say. And that little ferret house is where they love to sleep. And then here, I have a container with a hole right there with all of their blankets that were inside of there, but they didn't want it and they like that spot better. So this is their little walkout. They come in here every single night to stay away from their pond and stuff. And they come inside of here, they get the food, they get the water and live here throughout the night. And then early morning they get opened up and they go back out and they play all day long. But now because they have started breeding, they have access to come in and out whenever they want more often because she is most likely obviously gonna make her nest inside of here in her safe zone spot. And this is where she'll have her babies and she needs to be able to go in and out when she pleases, when she wants, stretch her legs and do her thing. Uh, the babies will stay inside this box for probably around 30 days. And like we said, then we'll pull them and bring them inside the house and save them from the mother. So that just in case anything, I mean, we're not gonna keep them for the first couple of uh, times. We'll definitely find other facilities, go with them or stuff of that. So we'll have to figure that out in the future. But yeah, we grab the bowl, we take the bowl out, they eat all the food every night, and then we clean it all up in the house or here. I need to really start doing everything here. I kind of still do stuff inside the house, but we'll get to that point and we'll make it furnished and complete in here. So we have our door, we have our double doors, and then you keep on turning and we open this door here. And this goes into Peanut and Nutella's enclosure. Peanut's right there in the grass, Nutella's over there. And this is gonna be a whole nother enclosure in the near future, but we're not gonna but talk about that right now. We just like to prep things one time and one time only, meaning I made this building to be exactly what I wanna do. If things change a little bit, that's okay. But if I wanna make that enclosure there, I have the doors to go over there, I have the doors to go over there, and I have this awesome little building right here to do everything I wanna do. But uh, let's go outside and show you the little viewing panel real quick and see what they're doing. So because of the South Florida sun, early morning is pretty much the best time to see the viewing panel down there but as of right now everything on the ranch is doing absolutely amazing the sunshine is beautiful so stay tuned you guys make sure you're subscribed to blake's exotic animal ranch because around christmas time in a couple months we'll update you guys we're definitely going to go to the vet and all that stuff maybe get an x-ray see if we have babies inside and all that in a couple weeks and things and see if we have anything growing it's going to be really really cool to see baby otters here and then as you guys know i'm having a kid myself so he's gonna have baby otters to play with when he's a little baby too but make sure you guys like this video subscribe to the channel put your post notification out so you guys are updated when we post another video here on the ranch and stay tuned because we're gonna have baby otters coming soon